Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, you resonate. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six me to have my back because I have yours now. Let's see. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles energy. All right, Knight of Pentacles says you can't get the results without first doing the work. Show up, work hard, keep pushing every day. And this is in regards to your options. And also, um, there is unsure energy. Yeah, so, okay. So, the Three of Cups energy is unsure. The Three of Cups energy comes out, and it's like either friendship, celebrations, collaborations, or it could be you being independent and moving on. With the Seven of Pentacles here, it shows that you've done the work. And you have several options, but you're unsure about a friendship or about the support or the lack thereof of support that you've had in the past seven years. And it causes you to have anxiety, nine of swords energy. Um, it causes you to have anxiety. I could have swore a card turned over. It causes you to have anxiety in regards to who you should be moving forward with because who gave to you six of pentacles or who was there to support you the way you supported them. The Six of Pentacles energy is given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. And so, no, you don't expect to receive the same energy, but uh, Eight of Pentacles energy is like you worked on this. You planted the seed, and there were people in your lives that caused more, hmm, I'm going to say damage. With the Pentacles being here, you know, Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, um, this is earth energy. You could have been in a point to where you needed um, to, you know, like I do. Earth energy is like, or, or you know, it's like I do. I do. You've done everything for yourself. Or, you know, this could be in regards to someone, because all these pinnacles being out here, someone with heavy earth energy, or it's just something that you've done, but it's causing anxiety about the decisions that you're going to have to make. So we have seven years, we have six years, and we have eight years. So six, seven, and eight. Sixth year, you've been giving, 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 and doing and doing. You have the options here. You doing the work, right? Seven, of, uh, excuse me, Knight of Pentacles energy. But we also have with the uh, Seven of Pentacles, you planting the seed. So whatever you were giving to and planting the seed about and working on, you feel like there is a situation to where you aren't, Hmm. You you aren't um oh how, how do I say it? you 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 aren't you know like you've done everything alone that's what I'm gonna say you 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 haven't gotten that um opportunity to be grateful for working with the person everything that you've done all of your accomplishments have been done on your own blood sweat and tears and that's the reason why you have the options to be able to move forward without. A certain situation I'm going to clarify these cards but sevens mean um, you know like confidence you've done this out of confidence but because at some point whatever was causing the anxiety or whatever is causing you to feel this way nine of swords you have to kind of um, deal with that part and that's the biggest part of moving forward you know how they say you can't take everyone with you that's basically where you are and why you feel that you're looking at the relationships and situationships um, moving forward, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of why you have to be able to um, de determine what you're going to do with the past relationships, situationships, and if you are grateful for some, and if some can go, and if some can't. You, does that make sense? So I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Six of Pentacles, um, and the Three of Cups, Unsure. So, yeah, let's see what the Knight of Pentacles has to offer. Unsure energy. Uh, yeah, Nine of Swords. So doing the work causes anxiety. Also, with the Nine of Swords being here, it makes you feel like um, you are... I don't know, like kind of like going, living out, outliving your fears. But you have to also, at that same time of doing the work, you have to release your worries. And releasing your worries and also feeling as if, you know, you have anxiety and nightmares and all of these things are happening. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords because it comes unsure. 
you have to be able to get through it through three cards come out yeah you have to recognize your strengths knight of cups energy and also understand that you have to do the work knight of swords energy says be tough be ambitious know what you want go after it in a single-minded determination but the knight of cups energy always tells you to follow your heart so in the process all of the no not all of them but um all the uh, i'm gonna say all again the pinnacles are out here so when pinnacles come that's like you basically um dealing with your thoughts you know so you have to be able to do and to think things through so that you won't stop you you won't stop yourself or have the um like have some type of anxiety nine of swords shows his face twice but have some type of anxiety when it comes to making a decision that can better you because of the fact that you have been through a lot knight of swords energy again you have to be tough about it seven of cups energy comes okay unsure along with all the other unsure unsure about love because this is a seven of uh, the two of cups energy unsure about love unsure about um the ace of pentacles having the cur uh, excuse me having the courage and also uh like being able to manifest things unsure about taking a leap unsure about you know doing the work Nine, knight of pentacles again comes out unsure about doing the work unsure about you know the um when it comes to the um knight of wands energy or it says the princess of wands but when it comes to that energy you did i say wands yeah it's the wands when it comes to that energy you know you're unsure about what you should do you know you're unsure about you know having the courage you're unsure about taking the action and you're un unsure about what you'll be able to manifest but you're also unsure about the consequences of your action justice things like that you're unsure that when it comes to being able to i mean if this is gonna break your heart three of swords energy or if this is going to also make you feel like negative self-talk and all these things so you're questioning a lot when it comes to the seven of swords the insecurities the things that you know may or may not happen you're doubting it's a lot of doubt but to doubt is not to believe in the king of pentacles energy being unsure about taking the risk you know being unsure about the opportunities that may come and being unsure about if you're going to fail or if you're investing your time in the wise way but also ace of wands energy being unsure that if you have the courage and the strength to be able to do it the king of wands energy basically says you have to be a true leader to move forward and do the things that you want you have to be able to lead the king of uh, wands energy says a true leader is one who leads from the heart inspires others to do more dream bigger and be better you're unsure of the options that you have seven of pentacles that's the reason why when it comes to having balanced temperance energy you're also unsure if you're going to have the balance or be able to uh go after the things that you want you know or you know um sometimes when you have to step out on faith it causes more anxiety than anything anxiety causes stagnation stagnation causes you not to move forward but when you realize as many options as you be able to have you know moving forward and stepping out and understanding what causes you to doubt you have to really kind of understand when it comes to temperance and not being unsure and being unsure about it excuse me being unsure about the temperance energy it's like a lack of um what's going to happen long term and so when it comes to also the judgment energy not really realizing what it is that you have to offer and doubting yourself and also not having a rebirth is why you have to get out of this situation of if you're going to be able to be a strong leader emperor energy i'm going to clarify all of those with one card um it's unsure again four of pentacles unsure if you should pull your energy back and do the work for yourself and that's where the anxiety is coming in at nine of swords energy but the seven of cups energy comes clarifying the seven of cups you have the ability to be a butterfly you have to go through all of these different things in order to be able to fly so seven of cups come out with the seven of cups you have to stop doubting yourself and the three of um, cups energy comes out with the ten of wands energy yeah see this is recognizing the burdens of why being stagnant three of cups energy unsure why the new relationships or you having to uh, be able to um what is it celebrate with new people that come into your life and not be overly independent and spend too much time alone because that causes overindulging of 
you having the anxiety and not thinking that you're capable of doing it. Seven of Pentacles is what we're clarifying now. Let's see. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles comes out with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles energy. So once you plant the seed, you're going to have your cake and eat it too. Queen of Pentacles energy, however, can be toxic like JDS Tarot says. Toxicity when it comes to you giving everything. The Queen of Pentacles says, um, I have it up here on my wall. That's why I can read those. A loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. That no matter what, like JDS Tarot says, can be toxic because you'll do everything and anything in order to try to rectify people, other people's burdens. So if it's a family member, you know, uh, you struggling with a family member or you showing a family member that you can reach the top, encouraging everyone else, you know, Ten of Wands energy, you, you know, it comes with a price. And that price is you giving everything, your all, your last dime. So that means that Eve, all of these pinnacles out here is letting you know that you can be successful and that you have all of these different options, but you're talking yourself out of them because of the anxiety of leaving someone behind. But most of the time, you have to be able to leave people behind in order to move forward. Sometimes people aren't going to understand your growth, and that's what causes you the anxiety. So the Nine of Swords energy is what we're clarifying now. Comes with the Empress energy. So the Empress energy, again, is just to let you know that you have the ability to create, but your anxiety is stopping you from creating and seeing the beauty in yourself. The Six of Pentacles energy is how you give to others wholeheartedly and which makes you feel to a sword like you can't trust in yourself. You can trust the process and be able to fight for everyone else, but it makes you feel to a sword energy as if, you know, there is a decision that you have to make. And you have to weigh the options and the, the, a lot, the, 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 excuse me, nine times out of 10, it's you avoiding the options that you have on your plate. Seven of, pentacles, seven of cups, seven of cups. It's you avoiding that because yes, it causes you limbo and not to be able to work on yourself. So that is why you have to start somewhere and recognize why you're talking yourself out and it's the burdens of every, every, it's everyone else's burdens, which cause you to fight yourself and to have anxiety and not to know how to emotionally get through working on yourself without feeling guilty and doing the work. So that's why the Knight of Pentacles is here doing the work, the anxiety here, nine, nine of swords energy, unsure, because again, when you're unsure, it causes anxiety and it causes inner turmoil, but it also causes you to really look at the fears and keep, you know, and, and um, worry about, you know, the, the things that you cannot change. And that's when you won't work on yourself. Seven of Pentacles, you won't even plant the seed because of the anxiety that it causes you. Does that make sense? And so you have to get out of that situation of learning that from the messengers of the heart and how to ascend. You have to sometimes ruffle a couple of feathers, but keep going, you know, keep going. And sometimes you can't take time out to do certain things. Yeah, because things are brewing up. So some people, when it comes to the messages of the heart, you know, some people are hopeful. You have to be hopeful. You know, it says they are opening themselves to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. So the hangman energy is where you will stay until you move forward for yourself and let somebody see something different when it comes to love or a situation. They'll actually really see your worth that you had to pull your energy back in order to move forward. And then it says brewing up. Be ready to expect the unexpected because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum. Your finances, you having your cake and eating it too, realizing the options that you have. If you just stop talking yourself out of certain situations that you know, you know, your thoughts are there for a reason. It's the universe trying to teach you to move forward and to ascend. And so now I'm going to pull from the Ascended uh, Life Oracle to see what comes out. Yeah, I just, yeah. So friendships, again, understanding the difference between the two. And the, some friendships can cause you stagnation and deep thinking. And that's where we are right now. You having to think about what it is that you need to do. Thinking twice on a decision, exactly. And so that is where you are when it comes to this part here 
overthinking about the burdens and the people that you might have to leave behind. Thinking twice on the decision, preoccupied with one's thoughts, self-reflection, being analytical and logical. So being staying hopeful and being analytical and logical, but also friendships. Understand this, attracting new friends, and that is what this is about. The Three of Cups energy, attracting new friends, changes in a friendship, because you have to change. You have to change in order for you to ascend, in order to move forward. Spending more time with friends and letting go of toxic friends. And I can't make this up any more than what, you know, I've already said right here. And that's what's brewing up. It's changing in dynamics and in relationships. And so that is what you're doing. I'm going to pull from the four agreements. And if you want to know my perspective on the four agreements, I'll put it up. Uh, the card that comes out is don't take anything personal. So when you decide to move forward, taking things personal is you worrying about how somebody else feels about a situation when it comes to you bettering yourself. And so sometimes you have to ruffle a couple of feathers in order for you to be able to move forward. And so that is what you're going to have to do. It says refuse to eat emotional poison because this causes the lack of anxiety. Uh, excuse me. This causes anxiety, nine of swords energy, and the unsure energy of why you feel like you shouldn't move forward. It causes hangman energy, which is right here at the bottom of the deck. And it causes deep thinking. And when you start to think about the past, and uh, which causes fear, and when you start to reflect about the what ifs of the future, that causes anxiety. And that's where you are in regards to moving forward and also letting go of the toxic people in your life, the burdens, right? So it says, taking things personally makes you pray for predators. They can hook your attention with one little opinion. Oh, yeah, you think you're better than us, or you think you deserve this, and blah, 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 right? Those types of things, right? And feed you whatever poison they want. Refuse to eat the poison. And that is what's brewing up. In this brew, make sure that it's not the poison of the negative thoughts and what you are causing yourself because you are doubting what it is and you're in hangman energy. And so hangman energy is your surrendering to the opinions of others and the emotional poison that people uh, spew when it comes to them doubting themselves and they reflect that based upon you. Does that make sense? And so now we're going to pull from the crystal deck and then we're going to let this old energy go. But yeah, I just think that was a really good read. You know, sometimes you just have to pull your energy back and not really question why you're doing it. Just know that you're doing it for a good cause. And um, sorry, I'm hitting my, my desk. Okay. The Lemurian quartz, it's all the chakras. So that means you need to get on it and start focusing on your chakras. And that's your spiritual evolution. And that's the, that is why I pull from the ascending oracle, the ascendant life oracle, and also the messengers of the heart, because the messengers of the heart will help you get to the point to where you're hopeful of why your heart feels the way it does. And even the people that are been around you. So meditation and dreams. So spiritual evolution, meditation and dreams. And it's all the chakras. I reach beyond time and space. I reach beyond time and space. And that's the reason why you've decided to work on yourself and un eliminate the burdens and the toxicity that has been in your life. So I want every girl to know, girl or guy, to know that their voice can change the world. You see my new signs? I got that one. And then I got the heart. Um, yes, this is my chaotic mess, but I'm not messy. I'm creatively organized. So you guys, let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.